We're in the drug discovery lab at the Patterson. And although it's a small lab, it's a very well designed lab. And the reason it's well designed is that it's actually got a workflow to it. So it's, it's a very efficient lab. So despite its size, we probably get more productivity in here than a lab twice the size. Okay. Now, the flow starts, well, it starts with the chemists, but it, this, is, this is a minus 80 freezer. It doesn't look very much, but within it is our compound collection, the fragment collection that we've very kindly been lent by the, the Beetson. And where we would go from here is we, the compounds would be tested for purity on the NMR. So what's this thing, Jimmy? What's this thing? This is, this is the nuclear magnetic resonance. So essentially you can tell that the compound is completely pure. So it's, a, it's, a, it's if you like, a quality control check to make sure that when we make a compound, it is exactly what we thought we made it. Now, is it expensive? <laughs> it is. It is expensive. We got this second hand and we got a really good deal on it. <laughs> not uh, on eBay. No? no, not on eBay. It's got an extremely powerful magnet at the bottom, which is why we, we can't go within this, okay. within that area. Okay. Gotcha. So the compounds are checked for purity here. We would then... So we do all our work on these plates. So this is a three, four well plate. So this is essentially, if you remember doing chemistry at school, you used to do work in test tubes. This is just a plate that essentially has 384 test tubes. Uh, so the workflow would then come to these two machines. So this is just a little Janus robot. And essentially what it does is it makes duplicates of these plates. Uh, this piece of kit is the Echo. It's probably one of the most expensive pieces of kit, but again, we managed to get quite a good deal. Uh, and what that does is that one of the biggest difficulties we've got is accurately pipetting small volumes of the compounds, which are incredibly valuable, into these. And we use the Echo, which is an acoustic dispensing tool, which essentially fires a sound wave against the back of the plate and will transfer the contents of one plate over to the other but it does it incredibly accurately. So we can, we can very accurately transfer tiny uh, quantities. So a microliter very easily. That's about one ten thousandth of a drop. Uh, so having got the plates, we'd give them to someone like Sarah, who's <laughs> sat there labeling. <laughs> Put in the camera in the so there labeling plates. Uh, so this is where we would do in vitro work. So at an enzyme level, we'd test for specific inhibitors on three, eight, four well plates. Uh, if we found specific inhibitors at that level, we'd probably do, and we're not going to go in there, but this is where we would do the tissue culture. You might have a better view. So you can see Gemma working at a tissue culture hood. So she'll be working with cancer cell lines uh, again, adding the, com the compounds to them and making sure that we, we see a biological effect. And then as we, m we move up, we've just got different degrees of uh, uh, testing. So we would, we would eventually move up to doing things like Western blots, where we're looking for either phosphorylation changes or changes in the molecular weight of, of, of proteins. Okay. On the other side, we've got that's Kate there, she's had a haircut. Okay. Kate's one of, the, one of the chemists, and this is the chemistry section. So the chemists, I mean, this is very, very unusual. Chemists and biologists working together in one lab. Uh, so Kate's making some extremely valuable compounds at the moment. <laughs> Another thing that's very, very unusual about this lab, and it's very different from most of them, is when we have lab meetings, we would normally, in a, in a different environment, we'd all go off, we'd all leave the lab, and go away and have a lab meeting in a, in a meeting room. What we actually do is we've got a projector in the lab, we've got a screen that we pull down, we have all our lab meetings, because the most important part of this environment is actually what happens in the lab. So we have the lab meetings in the lab, everybody just gathers around in the bay, we have a discussion about what's happened in the last month, what progress we need to make, uh, and it's just it, it just creates a very 
vibrant atmosphere where people feel engaged and feel part of the team. So lastly, right at the top, we've got mass spec liquid chromatography. And this actually ties with the first bit of kit that we looked at, which was the, the NMR. So again, this is all about making sure that the compounds that we make are pure so that we know what we're testing. We know that when we're testing a compound, we know that it's, it's pure, it's specific, it's exactly, yeah, sure. These, these are expensive from what I gather, aren't they? These are expensive. I think we got these second hand, so there's a... This is mass spec uh, uh, liquid chromatography. And again, it's about checking the compounds are specific. Or the compounds are exactly what we thought we'd made. Who's for all this?